In the next 12 months, one of two things is going to happen to your career. Either you're going to learn how to leverage data analytics and AI to become irreplaceable, or you're going to watch someone else less qualified than you take the opportunities that you deserve. Because right now there is a gold rush happening in tech especially in data. And it has nothing to do with coding boot camps or computer science degrees. It is about mastering the one skill stack that every company desperately needs, but can't find enough people to fill. So let me show you exactly why data analytics combined with AI is about to become the most valuable skill stack anyone can have. And no, I'm not talking about becoming a PhD level data scientist locked in your basement, writing algorithms all day. I am talking about something way more practical, way more accessible, and honestly, way more profitable. In the next few minutes, you're going to learn why the traditional coding jobs are becoming obsolete and which specific roles are actually exploding right now that no one's talking about and the exact skills that you need to position yourself for these opportunities before everyone else catches on. Now, if this is your first time here, I'm Kanisha and five years ago, I was delivering pizzas and Amazon packages for $8 an hour. And today I am running a community of over 60,000 current and aspiring data professionals. And I have helped thousands of other career changers break into data analytics without going back to school and wasting money on courses that just don't work. I have watched this career field transform in real time. And my only goal is to help you cut through all the noise of endless information online to get you exactly where you want to be in the least amount of time. All right, so let's start with the uncomfortable truth that nobody wants to admit. Traditional coding is becoming the assembly line work in the tech industry. Think about it. When was the last time you heard anyone brag about being really good at HTML or basic web development? These skills that used to guarantee you six figure jobs are now being automated by AI tools faster than you can say chat GPT. And here's some data that'll wake you up. Since 2020 demand for traditional software software developer roles has dropped by one third, one third. Meanwhile, over 170,000 new software engineers have flooded the job market. You know what that means? Oversaturation, race to the bottom and wages getting compressed. But here's another kicker. The World Economic Forum is projecting that AI could displace up to 50% of white collar roles by 2035. That's not some distant future. That's literally 10 years from now. So you know what's actually really happening? Companies like IBM and Accenture have already paused June junior hiring. They're letting AI tools do what entry-level staff used to do. Those grunt work coding jobs, the ones where you just debug simple programs and write basic HTML, they are going away. But here's what AI can't do. It can't understand the context. It can't make strategic business decisions, and it can't look at messy real world data and figure out exactly why sales dropped 30% last quarter in the Northeast region, but stayed flat everywhere else. AI hallucinates and it makes mistakes. It confidently can give you the wrong answers while sounding completely right. But that's where you come in and this is where the money really is. See, while everyone else is panicking about AI taking jobs, let me hit you with some numbers that will change your perspective. AI related jobs have actually grown 38% since 2019. Right now, there are over 200,000 data analyst positions in the United States available right now. This includes analytics engineers, business intelligence engineers, and AI data strategists. And these aren't just fancy titles. I'll show you actual numbers. BI and analytic engineers are the sweet spot. You know why? They don't require a PhD and you don't need 10 years of experience. They are the perfect hybrid between technical skills and business understanding. You're building data pipelines, creating automated reporting systems, making insightful dashboards and presentations, and making data accessible to the entire organizations. And you know what the best part is? These roles are literally designed for career changers. They value domain knowledge as much as the technical skills. That teacher who understands education Education, perfect analytics engineer for ed tech company, the retail manager who knows operations, ideal business intelligence engineer for e-commerce. The traditional path said spend two years going back to grad school and then compete with thousands of other grads for entry level positions. But the smart path nowadays, learn these hybrid skills in six months or more, and then step directly into these roles paying over 80 plus thousand dollars. That's not a typo. That is the reality of where the market is right now. So let's start getting specific. What exactly do you need to learn to capitalize on this shift? Because I'm not here to waste your time with a laundry list of every possible skill. First, data fluency. No, not data science. Fluency. You need to understand how to work with messy real world data. That means SQL for pulling data, 
Python for cleaning and automating, and Excel. Yes, Excel still runs the business world whether tech pros want to admit it or not. Second, visualization and data storytelling. This is where 90% of people fail. They can pull all the data in the world, they can run all the analysis and write 500 lines of code, but they can't explain why it matters to someone who doesn't speak data. You need Tableau or Power BI, but more importantly, you need to know how to build a narrative that drives action. Third, AI integration. This isn't about building AI models. It's about knowing how to use AI tools to amplify your work. Prompt engineering, using Claude or ChatGPT to write code even faster. Leveraging AI to automate the boring stuff so you can focus on strategy. And here's the thing, you don't need to be an expert in all of these. You just need to be good enough to solve real problems. Companies aren't looking for perfection. They are looking for people who can deliver results. Now, let me tell you why this is the smartest career move you can make right now, especially if you're not coming from a technical background. These skills stack with literally any industry. Healthcare, they need analysts who can understand patient outcomes. Marketing, they need people who can track ROI, optimize campaigns. Finance, supply chain, education. Every single industry is drowning in data and desperate for people who can make sense of it. You're not competing with computer science grads who've been coding since they were 12. You are leveraging your existing industry knowledge and adding data skills on top. That's the combination that makes you unstoppable. This isn't about starting starting over, it's about building on what you already know. All right, so if I was starting from scratch today, here's exactly what I would do. And pay attention because the order matters as much as the skills themselves. Step one, master Excel and SQL first. About 30 to 60 days, focus on learning pivot tables, Power Query, advanced SQL code, such as window functions and CTEs. This is your foundation and without this, nothing else matters. Step two, master data storytelling and business intelligence. Pick Tableau or Power BI. It does not matter which one. But most people think data visualization means throwing charts on a dashboard and calling it a day. That is dead wrong. That's not data storytelling, that's just data dumping. And executives don't pay six figures for data dumps. Let me tell you exactly what gets you paid. It's the ability to take complex, messy, and confusing data and turn it into a story so clear that a CEO can understand it in under 10 seconds and make million dollar decisions off of it. That's a skill that's worth at least 150K plus. But you know what I see all the time? People build these data dashboards with 15 different charts, rainbow colors everywhere, no clear message, no flow, no point. That's not analysis, that's just noise. So here's what you need to master. Master the pyramid principle when it comes down to your presentations. This is what McKinsey consultants use. This is what Bain uses. This is what BCG uses. You lead with the answer first, not the data, the answer. For your slide deck presentations, you can have an action title such as revenue is down 23% because we're losing customers in the 25 to 34 demographic. That could be your headline. Then you can support what your key insights. Three bullet points max, why are we losing them? Where are they going? And what's the impact if we don't fix it? Then and only then do you show your supporting data. One chart per slide, one message per chart, clean, clear, and impossible to misunderstand. This is consulting level presentation skills. And you know what? This is exactly what executives pay for. They don't want to see your analytical journey. They don't care how many pivot tables you made or all the transformations you did in SQL or Python. They want to know what decisions need to be made and why period. So learn how to build dashboards that tell a story at a glance and learn how to build slide decks that drive action, not confusion. This is not optional anymore. That's the difference between just being a data analyst and being a strategic partner. And trust me, strategic partners get paid a lot more. Step three, add Python for automation. No, not machine learning, not deep neural networks, just pandas, basic data cleaning, automation scripts. You're learning to scale your impact, not become a software engineer. And then step four, master prompt engineering with AI tools. But here's what most people screw up completely. They let AI be the pilot when it should only be your co-pilot. Now listen, I see this mistake every single day. People treat ChatGPT or Claude like some all-knowing oracle. They ask it to write all their code, build all their analysis, make all their decisions, and then they blindly just trust whatever comes out. That's not leveraging AI, that's just being lazy and it can be very dangerous. You know what happens if you wanna let AI fly a plane? It will hallucinate. It will make up data that doesn't exist. It will write SQL queries that look perfect but pull the wrong information. It will confidently tell you that your analysis is correct when it's completely false. I've seen people present AI-generated insights only to find out later their entire analyst was based off of made-up statistics. So here's the truth, you need to be the pilot. 
always. AI is your co-pilot, your assistant, your accelerator, but you're the one with the hands on the controls. You're the one who knows the business context. You're the one who catches when something doesn't make sense. So learn few shot prompting where AI can give you examples of what you want before asking for the output. You can master the triple C framework, clarify what you need, confirm the AI understands and complete the task altogether. Not just letting AI complete everything for you, do everything together. And this is how you get more reliable outputs while also factoring hallucinations that can trip up amateurs. You can guide it, you can check it, and then you can validate it. You use AI to do the heavy lifting faster, but you're always ensuring it's lifting the right weight in the right direction. Step five, build real projects with real impact. You can find a local nonprofit, offer 30 or 45 days of free analytics consulting, clean their messy data, build a dashboard, deliver a consulting style slide deck presentation, and this becomes your portfolio, your case study, your experience, and proof that you can speak to about confidently in your interviews. This last step alone will separate you from 99% of the competition guaranteed. Look, I know I just threw a lot at you, numbers, role strategies, but here's what it all comes down to. The future belongs to those who can interpret, communicate, and act on data insights. Not the people who just build models, not the people who just write code, the people who bridge the gap between AI and business value. You don't need another degree and no, you don't need to quit your job. You just need to know how to position yourself at this intersection before everyone else figures it out. Now, if you're ready to make this happen, and if you want the exact blueprint that my students use to land these roles, book your free career strategy call with my team, and we will map out your path to where you are now to where you want to be. But whether you work with me or not, please understand this. The market is shifting now, not next year, not next week, not in the next five years, right now. And the only question is whether you're going to ride the wave or get crushed by it. So stop waiting for permission to change your life and your career and start building the skills that actually matter today. I'll see you in the next one.